there. Today's video is about how to ride the perfect circle. In dressage, we ride a lot of circles. So starting out at training level, you have 20 meter circles, and then gradually as you move up the levels, the circles get smaller and smaller until you have eight meter circles and pirouettes. So in today's video, we're gonna walk through exactly how to get your body in the correct position so that you can ride the perfect circle with your horse. And we're working with a physical therapist. I'm gonna demonstrate some of the common faults and then she's gonna talk through exactly how to get your body in the correct position. So this is a really great video. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to learn how to ride the perfect circle. Also check out in the description below, I have a free mini course on confidence. So sign up for that. You'll get several emails to help you improve your confidence with your horse. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments which direction you have more trouble turning your body and your shoulders. For me, it's definitely the left. I broke my left collarbone, and so, yeah, my shoulders don't turn very well to the left, but it's a work in progress. Thanks for watching today. Hey, everybody, I'm Stephanie. I am a doctor of physical therapy and work with equestrians, and we're here talking today about how to ride the perfect circle. Most of us, as we know, are not equal on one side versus the other. And I know Amelia has done a lot of videos on collapsing one way in the saddle or sitting to one side. On a circle is a little bit different. So we're talking about the plane of motion that moves this way or this way. Um, so I would say most riders, because of an asymmetry in their body, whether it starts at their hips and their pelvis or originates up in their shoulders, will cause somebody to want to rotate one way or the other. I see this really frequently. And if a rider, um, let's say they're like Amelia, so Amelia consistently wants to turn her shoulders to the right and keep her left shoulder forward. So this is gonna pose a problem for when she wants to go on a circle to the left if her shoulders are consistently turning to the right. So we're gonna show you how it looks when somebody is sitting only one direction through both circles. So here Amelia is riding a circle to the right and this is her easier way. Her shoulders always wanna turn to the right with her left shoulder being a little bit more forward than her right shoulder. And then this is gonna be her easier way to turn because of that. So her shoulders are following the direction of the horse's shoulders. Now she's gonna to turn to the left and exaggerate her right rotation in her shoulders. So you see how the horse kind of falls in on his front left and her shoulders are staying rotated to the right. He's also wanting to counter bend to the right because her shoulders are encouraging him to go right. Here she goes back onto her easy direction so now I want to show you the proper way to move your body within a circle. So Amelia, like we said, her shoulders consistently want to stay to the right. So when you ride a circle to the right, you should rotate your shoulders to the right. Now I'm not collapsing to the right. I'm just rotating my circle, my shoulders, just like this to the right, almost like a camera on a tripod. It doesn't move this way and this way, it just turns straight on top of the tripod. So you kind of wanna think of that. Now watch what happens to my hands. So when you ride a circle, you shouldn't have to pull that inside rein. It should naturally occur just because you're turning your shoulders a little bit to the inside here. What that does then with your seat is it allows you to weight that seat bone without having to think of weighting that seat bone because of where you're turning the shoulders. Um, also what you want to remember if you're tight anywhere it is going to be more difficult one way versus the other. The inside leg should be a little bit at the girth which naturally occurs if you're evenly balanced. The outside leg should just be a little bit back encouraging the horse to bend and then when you turn left the same thing. So here I'm straight and then I'm going to turn to the left. What happens then is that my shoulders are left, it brings my hands left, but I haven't changed the angle between my shoulder and my hands. 
and then naturally it's going to weight that inside leg a little bit, the inside legs at the girth, the outside legs a little bit behind the girth, encouraging the bend to the left for a left circle. And again, one way is more difficult for most riders than the other way. So Amelia, go ahead and turn just from your shoulders to the left. Good. And then go ahead and turn just with your shoulders to the right, which is a little bit easier, easier for you than the other direction. So when you turn, like when you turn your shoulders, where does, where do you do that from? So, okay. So when you turn your shoulders to the left, I'm actually using my transverse abdominal muscles and my obliques to pull me left. So you're going to feel one side obliques working and one side transverse abdominals working and then the opposite obliques also. So I'm not pulling my shoulder back because then that would pull that inside rein. I'm just rotating here, keeping my legs kind of fixed on the ground. This is actually a good exercise. People can do standing. So you can stand with your feet planted, hands in about the rain position, and then practice just rotating one way, and then practice rotating the other way without letting your knee collapse one way or another. So Amelia is showing us the correct way to ride a circle now. And she's only turning her shoulders as much as she wants the horse's shoulders to move. So her shoulders are rotating a little bit to the left. And now you can see that he's bending correctly to the left. And then she'll show us the other direction. And then she's only moving her shoulders as far as she needs to, to get his shoulders where she wants them. I see a lot of riders when they want to turn in a circle, each step they turn their shoulders and it's really important to maintain steady contact, to use your abs to hold your body where you want it to be instead of rotating each step. Good, and here her shoulders are slightly to the left, which then helps you get your inside leg at the girth and your outside leg a little bit behind the girth. Hey there, I hope that you enjoyed that video on riding the perfect circle. A big thanks to Stephanie at Ride Advanced for talking us through that. She's a really wonderful resource. And again, let me know in the comments if you're like me and have trouble turning your shoulders to the left or if you have more trouble turning your body to the right. Of course, this affects your horse and their ability to make the perfect circle.